This is Zoe. Zoe is a horse. Zoe likes when you do this. Zoe likes when you do this. And you grab her nose. She says, stop it, but actually keep doing it. Zoe likes when you itch her ear. She says, this is fun. Zoe likes when you itch her other ear. Zoe likes when you itch up under her neck. Zoe likes when you shake her head side to side. Zoe likes when you hug. Zoe likes. No? <laughs>
their health, and the quality of their coats. I have a few different things that you guys have definitely seen from my other videos. If you if you're new here, you haven't. Um, I use this Palmer's olive oil hairspray. You can find it at Walmart, and I use this on her tail when I do brush it. I'm not going to today because I don't like to brush it too often. It takes a long time to grow out those long hairs, don't it? A super cheap puff pick, a soft brush, and a stiffer brush. And I use this one on her body and this one on her face, or this one if she's just got a light layer of dust. Then of course curry combs are super useful because you can use them to curry the skin and bring all those uh, natural oils up to the surface. I'm going to show you guys how I brush Zoe and interrupt her. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> looks like so I'm not gonna do that I just wanted to walk you guys through curry dandy brush and then the soft brush last thing that we're gonna do here I want to show you guys kind of her stall layout what we have going on so of course since Miss Zazu was a racehorse she really does enjoy to have her head out at least her track people had stall guards and whatnot so I have a stall guard from Deco Pony and then we have a super cute pony who is vital to the stall she has a lot of shavings in here but unfortunately she distributes them to where it is absolutely unnecessary to have them. <laughs> Don't you, you silly goose. And then we have one water bucket because believe it or not, she, being as big as she is, does not drink two water buckets. She has a huge bucket outside, which I'll show in a second, so two isn't necessary. So as Zoe models it, you can see the nibble net and how it works. It um, is kind of like grazing, but upright. Look how good she looks. Oh my god. Then she has a little feed trough and a super nice fan that's angled all over her body. You can see her mane moving. A salt block up there. Then she has a little ball. Whether she plays with that or not, I have no idea. That is our stall. Let's go see our pasture. This is Zoe's paddock for the moment anyway. It always seems to change. She has her water bucket, which she normally drinks out of since she doesn't like to drink inside for whatever reason. And just to reiterate, this is where she goes during the night, during the summer, and during the day in the winter. So this is her shelter. Um, as you can see, there is hardly any poop. She does not like to poop outside. You can see her little house. She poops in the back corner and I clean this every like few months or so because it doesn't accumulate very much between inside and outside. Like off. Okay, tripod, let's go to the feed room. A nice little walk from the barn. That's me car. This is the feed room. So as you can see, this is the feed cart. We have Zoe's bucket right here. Um, her feed is already pre-made for this afternoon. So you can see about how much she gets in this little, little container that says Zazu on it. Zazu. Zazu. Wow. <laughs> Come a little closer and you see. And we have all these wonderful supplements. So these are Zoe's three containers. They contain supplements. Over here are the Simply Equine supplements. I am not sponsored by this company, though I would love to be, <laughs> but this is from my hair analysis video. I'll put a card up above me. I highly recommend trying out Simply Equine, the hair analysis, because if you have a horse with a behavioral issue or something just came up all of a sudden and you don't understand what's going on, kind of like a hard drive on your computer, your DNA and your hair stores data. If I'm not completely mistaken, could be totally lying to you guys right now. But anyway, um, it's a super, super cool program thing. And I, everybody that comes to me with like, my horse just started doing this, or he's biting, or his stomach hurts, and now he's girthy all of a sudden, I'm like, try, try these products. Because um, she goes through and tells you like, what's been going on with your horse. You know what, just check out the video. It'll be fine. I'm actually going to do a part two very soon because I got to see how Zoe's progressing and if we need to continue some of these or if we need to take her off of some of them and whatnot. So, um, so first up we have the Blood Boost, which um, contains lots of things. This combination supports the horse that may bleed or is lacking energy by supporting the blood. If you want to know why Heather suggested all of these products to me, please check out that video because it does have all the information and what was going on specifically with Zoe. And uh, yeah, look out for part two. Then we have Structural Boost, uh, which is the formula aids to support weakened muscles, ligaments, tendons, and the structural system. Then Respiratory Support, this blend may support the relief of congestion and inflammation in the lung. So these are uh, 
These are our supplements. They are stored over there, but for now they are in these three little containers just because it's easier to open and close these containers and open and close some Ziploc bags. Finally, we have um, Equine Omega Complete. Um, you guys... Okay. Oh, right. I have ants all over my body. Let's try that again. So I have had to put uh, put our little our little our little bottle down because there are ants crawling all over it. It's just lovely. But Equine Omega Complete is an all natural supplement with human grade ingredients. I absolutely love it. Zoe's coat looks freaking phenomenal. And if I read you the list of things that this product supposedly does, you would freak out <laughs> because it's so long and you'd be like, can I get on that? And you can because it's human grade, though I wouldn't recommend it. Um, because it is marketed towards equine. Let's just, let's just take the camera off the tripod, zoom in, and if you want to read it, then you can. You can just pause it and, uh... Okay, so we'll start over here. You can see all the things. And we'll come over here. And lastly, I have in these tubs our, um... None of them are full. None of the tubs are full. But essentially, you can see the 12%, um, pellet down... You can see the 12% pellet down in there. That's what we use for all of our horses. It's very simple, non-complicated, and it does its job super well. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna get out of the super hot feed room. I'm about to sweat to death. Okay guys, I stood in front of Zoe's fan for a hot second and now I am not sweaty, so <laughs> life is great. That's when we bought that thing. But yeah, there you go. That's how I groom feed and what Zoe's turnout schedule looks like. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I get a lot of questions about it. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way, shape, or form. Obviously I'm not recommending that you guys put your horse on the exact same feeding and everything routine. She is a very spicy little thoroughbred that needs some particulars, but um, uh, I definitely recommend checking out Omega products. Um, if you use the code JetEventing at checkout, you can get $20 off your order. Dope! And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you back again. Make sure you hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. She loves me. You are so hard to film with. Summer, she... <laughs> I can't even... I can't do this video. <laughs> She's so funny. Not wrong, you guys. Um, so during I don't know what this is. She does this to so many people. It starts to hurt after a while, but we do it for love. I'm gonna back up in you. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. Gotcha! Gotcha! This whole video is just gonna be bloopers. Um, okay, we're done. Are you a vampire or are you gonna... <laughs> oh, you dear, there's some dots on my lens here. Let's try and clean that up a little bit. Goodness. It's so hot outside, but I want my hair down. Do it for the video. Move up. There we go. Good. Whoop. Bad. Good. Okay. That was a winnie. Yes. Tell me your secrets.